I also know there's this member AB, and that member might be in tension and it might be in compression. I actually don't know yet, so I'm always going to assume tension. I'm going to draw it pointing away from this joint. So I'm saying member AB is a force that's pulling on joint B. It's pulling it away, and that's modeling this member being in tension. Member AE, I'm also going to assume is in tension. So I'm showing it pulling on joint A. Now, if these members were in compression, I would have drawn them the other way. Instead of pulling away from the joint, they would be pushing against the joint. Now, it may turn out that these are in compression. I don't know yet. But when I do my calculations, if I get a negative answer for one of these, that tells me my assumption of tension was incorrect, and it's actually the other way around, and really it's in compression. So no matter what, we're still going to get the right answer. Joint A has a reaction force of 3,500 pounds, and it has two member forces pulling away from the joint. We're assuming tension for now, so that we're going to call those forces force AB and force AE. They signify the letters of the two uh, joints that the members hit, okay?